Hello and welcome back to Anime Soreo. Today we'll go through the notorious Chainsaw Man that took the anime fandom by storm. Before we get to the show though, do subscribe to Anime Soreo for more content on the animes we all love. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. The story introduces us to our MC, Denji, who is dreaming about a door in a back alley. After he wakes up, he goes to work for the Yakuza. He calculated how much money he earned from selling body parts, but still owed a lot of money. Pochita alerted the MC of a nearby devil, which he killed and earned 400,000 yen. But after fees and interest, Denji only received 70,000 yen, and after paying his debts, he was left with only 1,800 yen. The old man's driver questions why Denji was hired at all, and the old man explains that Denji is paying back his father's debts and following orders. The driver offers Denji 100 yen to eat his cigarette, which he does but then spits it out after they leave. Denji is eating bread and thinking about how he will be able to repay his debt or find a girlfriend. We're taken to his past where the old man threatens him with violence if he doesn't gather 700,000 yen by the next day. Then Denji sees a devil with a chainsaw, Pochita. He notices how Pochita is bleeding and offers to drink his blood. Denji decides to become a devil hunter and gives a devil carcass to the old man as a proof of his abilities. Denji is too hungry to sleep and dreams of having bread with jam and spending time with a girl. He coughs up blood and mentions his mother had a similar condition. The old man arrives and takes Denji to a devil hunting job he found for him. Denji and the man arrive at the abandoned factory, but Denji cannot see any devils. Suddenly, a man with a sword stabs Denji and Pochita from behind revealing that the Yakuza made a deal with the devil for power. Zombie Devil orders Zombie to kill Denji as he dislikes devil hunters. Despite Denji's attempts to escape, the zombies catch up to him and dismember him. Denji's dismembered body and Pochita are thrown into a dumpster. Some of Denji's blood reaches Pochita's mouth and he awakens, recalling memories of cutting trees with Denji. Denji tells Pochita that he might die while fighting a devil and that he regrets leaving Pochita alone and starving, or that other devil hunters might kill him. He then tells Pochita that if it's possible, he can have his body to live a normal life and die a normal death. In the dumpster, Pochita fuses with Denji's dismembered body, healing him. Denji wakes up and wonders if Pochita took over his dead body. Pochita tells Denji that he loved hearing about his dreams and offers his heart in exchange for Denji showing him his dreams. Denji gets up from the dumpster, healed, and with Pochita's tail coming out of his chest. The zombie devil is surprised and orders the zombies to eat Denji, but Denji transforms and starts fighting back. He realizes he couldn't blame the Yakuza for wanting more, but he won't let them get in his way. Denji cuts down the zombies and jumps on the zombie devil, slicing him in half. He then cuts down the remaining zombies and declares that he won't owe them money once they're all dead. Makima and two men arrive at the abandoned factory in the morning and find Denji there. Makima realizes that he has a strange smell and guesses that he did all the killing. Denji asks to be hugged and turns back to human form after Makima embraces him. Makima reveals that she is a devil hunter with public safety and came to kill the zombie devil. She offers Denji two options, to be killed as a devil or to work for her as a human. Denji obviously chooses to work for her after she promises to make sure he is fed. Makima then tells him what he will be served for breakfast and Denji happily agrees. Denji is riding in the car with Makima, feeling a little scared by the way she treats him like a dog, only expecting yes or woof answers. However, he recalls Pochita again and his stomach growls, prompting Makima to suggest they stop at a rest area to get something to eat. Denji is surprised by her kindness and is given her coat as he is shirtless. He begins to feel happy and believes he is in love with Makima. At the rest area, Denji orders udon and sausage, while Makima orders curry udon. Denji falls on Makima as he feels anemic and she asks him how he became like that. Denji tells her that his pet devil replaced his heart. Makima believes him because of her good sense of smell and tells him that there is no name for his condition yet. When Denji wakes up, Makima feeds him the udon and he enjoys it. Denji asks Makima her name and what type of guys she likes. She reveals her name and says that she likes guys just like Denji. Denji and Makima arrive at Devil Hunter headquarters in Tokyo, and Makima explains that there are over a thousand Devil Hunters in the city, including civilians. She gives Denji a uniform and introduces him to a co-worker named Aki Hayakawa, who will be working with him today. Denji expresses disappointment that he won't be working with Makima, but she tells him that if he does well, they might be able to work together someday. Aki tries to drag Denji out for patrol, but Denji refuses and insists on working with Makima. Makima makes his tie and hints that he should listen to Aki for now. Denji goes on patrol with Aki and asks him if Makima has a boyfriend. Aki punches him and explains that he is trying to be nice as people who get into devil hunting for money always end up dead. 
He guesses that Denji took the job because of Makima. Aki leaves, stating that he will tell Makima that Denji ran after seeing the devils. Denji kicks him between the legs and notes that Aki is a nice guy as he goes for their nuts when fighting men. Denji reflects on his desire to keep his new lifestyle and corrects himself that he cares as he is responsible for more than just his life. Aki attacks him again, but Denji kicks him in between the legs again, stating that Aki sounds like he is into Makima too. Denji and Aki are beaten up and go to Makima to report what happened. Denji lies and tells Makima that the nut devil attacked Aki's nuts, but Aki denies it. Makima then assigns Denji to Aki's unit, despite Aki's objections. Makima reveals that Denji can turn into a devil, which Aki had heard rumors about but didn't believe. Makima says that Denji is special and will receive special treatment. However, she warns Denji that if he tries to resign or refuses to work, he will be disposed of as a devil. Denji and Aki have a conversation about Makima and Denji's position in the Devil Hunters. Aki tells Denji that he will be living with him and can kill him if he tries to run away. Denji questions if Makima is a bad person, but Aki tells him to give up on her if he thinks that way. However, Aki also confirms that Makima saved his life, indicating that she is a good person. Denji and Aki go on a mission to hunt a fiend. Denji beheads the fiend using an axe instead of transforming into a devil, which annoys Aki. Aki reveals that his family was killed by a devil and questions Denji's approach to devil hunting. Denji admits that he just wanted to keep the blood away from magazines on the ground. He also admits that he wants to touch Makima's chest, which he sees as a new goal in his life from now on. Um, okay. Makima assigns Denji a new partner, Power, who is a fiend. Denji is surprised but happy to meet her, and Makima warns them that if they don't get results, the experimental team will be dissolved. Denji and Power are warned by Makima to patrol areas with fewer people due to Power's horn standing out in crowds. Power becomes impatient and hits Denji, asking for something to kill as she is starved for blood. Despite this, Denji still finds Power attractive and continues to think about how to touch her chest. While on patrol, they come across some police officers and Denji remembers to introduce themselves as part of the Public Safety Devil Extermination Special Division 4 and show their ID, as instructed by Makima. Denji and Power are unsuccessful in their mission to find any devils, Power speculates that her presence might be scaring them off. Denji becomes suspicious that Aki set him up to fail, but their conversation is cut short as Power senses a devil nearby. They encounter a sea cucumber devil, and Power kills it with a bloody and messy display, laughing maniacally after. Denji and Power are warned by Makima about the consequences of killing a civilian hunter's devil. Power gets excited after killing the sea cucumber devil and causes a messy scene. Makima scolds her for not thinking before acting and reminds Denji to control her. Power lies that Denji made her kill the devil, but Denji denies it, causing an argument between them. Makima intervenes and tells them to work well together, which Power agrees to. Denji and Power have a conversation about their motivations and dislikes, with Power revealing that she hates humans and devils, and she only loves cats. She lost her beloved pet Miaoi to a devil, which is why she is willing to do anything to get her back. Denji finds her obsession with a cat foolish, but gets excited at the prospect of touching Power's chest if he helps her to retrieve Miaoi. He then declares that he will kill the devil who took the cat as a devil hunter, and Power agrees to help him. Denji and Power receive permission to go after the devil that took Power's cat. Power leads the way, but she can't fight the devil because it would use Miaoi as a shield. Denji tells Power that he used to have a pet named Pochita, who is now in his heart, but Power thinks humans are foolish to think like that. Denji decides not to argue with her and believes he will never get along with her. During a time skip, Makima is shown in a meeting with higher-ups, who discuss the use of devils and military in other countries. They hope that Japan's only enemy remains to be devils. The higher-ups inquire about the performance of Makima's squad, to which she mentions that one member seems promising, while another she picked recently is interesting. The higher-ups caution Makima against getting attached to her squad, and remind her that her job is to train and use them for work. In a car, Aki expresses his dislike for Denji, questioning Makima's high hopes for him. Makima explains that devils gain power based on how feared their names are, and Denji's ability to transform into a chainsaw devil is intriguing. Aki remains skeptical, noting that everyone in public safety has a clear motivation, while Denji just wants to live a comfortable life and even befriend devils. Power and Denji arrive at a house where the devil who took Miyawi is believed to be. As they approach, Denji expresses concern that the devil may use the cat as a shield and wonders if Power should be so close. Power dismisses his concerns and they continue towards the house. Suddenly, Power attacks Denji with a blood hammer, knocking him out. She compliments his sharp instincts despite being an idiot. Power brings Denji to the Bat Devil who expresses his disappointment in her for taking so long and demands to know why she brought a human. 
He then grabs Denji and explains that his blood is young and full of vigor, which will help him heal his injuries caused by humans. After the Bat Devil consumes Denji's blood and finds it distasteful, he decides to eat some children to cleanse his palate. Denji looks at Power, realizing that he believed her story about saving her cat, but she calls him foolish for trusting her. Power reminds him of their deal, but he swallows Miyawi anyway. Power then reveals her backstory with Miyawi, how she planned to fatten her up before eating her, but ended up becoming attached to her. The Bat Devil then consumes Power as well. Denji clings to the Bat Devil's leg and sucks his blood, demanding that he gives Power back. The Bat Devil is surprised by Denji's actions and captures him. He recalls a time when he couldn't find Pochita and feared that the Devil had eaten him. When he returned home, he found Pochita crying in the corner, waiting for him. Denji pulls the cord on his chest and the chainsaw comes from his head, cutting the Bat Devil's arms and freeing himself. The Bat Devil is surprised that Denji is a devil. Denji and the Bat Devil fall into a building where Denji spots a woman and urges her to flee. The Devil questions why Denji, being a devil himself, would care about humans. Denji strikes the Devil and they begin to fight. Denji sees more humans and tells them to run away. In response, the Bat Devil picks up a car with a person inside and hurls it at Denji to see if he can cut it. Denji catches the car and throws it back at the Devil, hitting him in the face. The Bat Devil then emits a shockwave from its mouth, knocking Denji back. After throwing debris at Denji to keep him away, the Bat Devil becomes scared when he hears Denji's chainsaws. Denji approaches the Devil and cuts through the debris with his chainsaws. The Bat Devil tries to punch Denji, but Denji cuts off his arm. Denji then jumps and kills the Bat Devil by splitting his stomach open. Whoa, what a gruesome show. Do let us know what you guys think will happen next, and we'll find out in the next episodes. For now, if you enjoyed the video, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Peace!